Hi guys, Mark here. And you know, if there's one thing na natutunan ko during this whole pandemic is it's to value the smallest things in life, you know, the simplest things in life. Yung mga tinatawag nating simple joys, they mean so much more nowadays, especially to us. And siguro now is the time to be thankful for all those little things na nararanasan natin that we can actually do we can actually still do in spite of this whole pandemic and I think aside from all the other things that we enjoy simple things like electricity is something we take for granted we get used to waking up in the morning opening the light, opening the TV looking at our cell phone, charging going to the bathroom turning on our water heater, taking a good shower, you know all of that requiring electricity and you'd think that everybody has that luxury but sadly it's not the case. There are still people, there are still communities all over the Philippines who still do not have electricity. And it's hard to process that something as basic as electricity is still unavailable in so many parts of the country. That's why I would like to challenge all of you to participate in the Light It Forward Challenge. Well, this challenge is very meaningful to me because I personally believe that everybody should have electricity in their homes and in their communities. So what makes this meaningful is today, July 1, is actually the official launch of the Lighted Forward Challenge, meaning all you have to do is get in touch with a litter of light and then they will give you instructions on how to make your own light kit and then you will have to challenge somebody to make their own light from the light kit that will be given to them and then to pay it forward as well and that's a big part of the challenge. You have to light it forward. You know, be a light to someone else. So this came, as you can see, it says sanitized and disinfected. So inside this bag, which you will also get, is a light kit. So what you have to do is try to show yourself making the light, okay? You have to do it yourself. And you don't have to spend so much to give that gift of light to someone who doesn't have it, to a community who is still in the dark. So, I'm going to open this one, show you how to do it, hopefully I can, and then all I have to do is challenge someone to light it forward. Let's go. So, inside, you can find this. See that contraption over there? Looks complicated, doesn't it? that it's actually not. <laughs> you got tools. This looks like the power source. There you go. Uh, it's a battery and uh, some wires. There you go. That's what it looks like. Probably the most important part. Your solar panel. We won't leave you blind. I'm going to give you instructions here to make your 5 volt circuit terminal block. So you have the switches here and they're number coded. So all you have to do is follow the numbering on the circuits here. So I literally took all the wires from the bottom part of the PVC, attached everything to this. So now is the moment of truth. I haven't attached the 
solar panel yet, so here we go. There's the solar panel, and we're about to hit the switch. I think it's gonna work. Ah! <laughs> Look. And then there was light. So it costs so little to give light to people who don't have it. So imagine that. If I can make it, you can make it. So now that I got this to work, again. Look at that. Made my own solar light. Now that I've proven myself capable of making this light, I'm sure most of my friends can. So now I challenge you to light it forward, Ninong Robert Senya. I know you can do this. So I challenge you to light it forward and help some of our countrymen who don't have electricity to get their own light. Again, light it forward. <laughs> 